So here we have our character that we did the rough storyboard, rough thumbnails for before storyboard. What you would then do after that is make a simple storyboard like this, in which we have the first panel character and then the second panel of him doing an anticipation pose down and the third panel where he goes up to react. Underneath of that is the number system for the, the animator and the X sheet timer. This is called the slug. Down here, since there's no dialogue, this slug says 16 frames. That means we hold this pose for 16 frames. This says four frames for an anticipation pose down. That's where he's gonna bend down in anticipation, close his eyes, have his hands up. He will then go up into a reaction pose. And our timing for that is that he will come up fast for four frames, overshoot that pose for two frames, settle back for two frames and hold for another 12. This, all of this timing is called board slug. The reason it's called slug is because it happens in between dialogue. Our dialogue, if we had any for this, underneath this panel, instead of having 16 frames, it would just have a line of dialogue and this character would be gibbering on about whatever it is he's uh, uptight about at the moment. But since he's not talking, we put in holding time and this is called slug. It's just a placeholder. It opens up the dialogue track so that we can add in actions for acting, for reacting, for movement, whatever's going on. So that's the basis of board slug. That gets translated to the X sheet. An X sheet timer will then do this and write down the, we'll write down the information for the animator that we're going to hold here for 16 frames. Each space is one frame of film or video. Then we're going to an, an antic down, which is going to the anticipation pose down. And that is panel two. So we would put panel two here, you have panel one up here. Over the top under the red line, there's panel one. We antic down to panel two. We're gonna go up fast to the reaction pose, overshoot, settle. Pose that we're going to end up on is panel three. And then hold here. I've added a four frame blink on ones. This will be the end of the scene. We write cut over on this side. And then we would usually just draw a red line across here to show that's the end of the scene to the animator. So that is a very short, to the point explanation of what is board slug and timing for animation today. Now, the next lesson would be how do we change that into actual animation drawings and put it onto our exposure sheet. And that would be happening over here in these columns, one to four. And we would have, let's say we would call the first drawing figure one. So that might be F1. And that would go in this column here and it would hold all the way down. And then our antic poses would be three, five, and we start to come up, so that's seven, nine, the overshoot pose, 11, the settle pose, 13, and then the hold pose might be 15. 13 and 15 could be very close. They could be the same drawing. And then that would hold all the way down here to the end of the scene. So that's more or less how, how timing is done and figured out. <clears throat> If we had this character talking and blithering and gibbering on, we would have his 
dialogue and mouth assignments in these two columns. So his actual, let's see on this one, we would have their, the word broken up phonetically in these columns and then the lip assign A through H in the other column. Um, we see you have enough for three characters here. If the camera was going to move to follow the guy, because it was a little bit tighter, we would put that in this column and say like diagonal pan and we write that over here. And then write which direction the camera moves to follow the guy. Other, either right, left, up, down, whatever. So there's your short and sweet lesson in exposure sheets and board slugging.